back too much. Thank you. Hey, welcome back. Thank it's you. It's good to be back. It's, it's good, good to be, be back. back. Oh, is my mic on? Check one, two. Yeah, your mic's on. Okay, worry. cool. It's uh, hard yeah. to tell though. It always gets really loud when it's you guys all, come. Yeah, they're they're very very loud. Make some noise, people. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm not gonna be able to hear it tomorrow. Thank you for that. No problem. Um, one of the things as a music fan, it's always really interested me about bands, especially my favorite bands growing up, is kind of the interim period between records, because that's when all the stuff happens that it's gonna end up on the next record. Very true. Right? Uh, good stuff happens, tough stuff happens. You had a tough time with your brother. He was diagnosed with cancer. Yeah, there was a uh, you know a long period of time, uh, almost about two years, where my brother, my, my my brother, my brother battled with cancer, and it was a. Uh, very difficult for my family and for, for myself to just see him go through that, you know, is, is uh, kind of an unfair thing to happen to someone at that age. He was like 28 when it happened. Yeah. Uh, but he's better now. And uh, well, He's cancer-free. We, we got to yes, say that. absolutely. Yeah. Here's the thing. Everybody gets to the point in their lives where you lose somebody. It's a natural progression of life. But I find that almost losing somebody can almost be more powerful because you get a second chance, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I, I got to say... Um, even my brother himself told me that, that uh, and, and apparently most people that go through cancer usually say it's the best thing that ever happened to them. When you get, of course, when, you, when, you, uh, when you're okay at the end, you know, when, when you can actually... When you win. When, yeah, when you win the battle, it's the best thing because it really gives you perspective on life and, what you, and what's important, you know, and what's not important. So you, uh, yeah, it was great, you know, it was a great experience and I hope it, we never have to do it again. But uh, for my family, it was definitely something that brought us closer together and uh, it was all around in a weird way, a positive thing. How does it affect what you do? How does it affect the way the five of you kind of interact? I just think it gives you uh, perspective, you know, on everything in life, you know, whether it be... How important family yeah, is wh stuff. Whether it be in a band, you know, I, I think it just makes you realize how life can be very fragile, you know, and you can, uh, you know, someone can be gone without you knowing it, you know? So it's, it's uh, it, I think it affects you in every way, you know? For the band, it just makes you appreciate what you have. And actually, I think it did make me appreciate what I have and what we've been doing for the last eight years. I seem to be have a newfound uh, love for work. Did you, had you gotten to a point between the five of you where you did start to take it for granted? I think so. I, I think, think, it's, I think it's normal. Yeah, it's not. I think everybody goes through that period. Yeah. You know when you tour a lot and, and you're kind of in the role, you know, you're doing a lot of shows and you're playing like big crowds, at some point it seems normal, right. you know? And then you get home and, and suddenly you have to write another record, you have right. to get into the studio. Sometime it, it becomes a lot harder, and, and suddenly you have to revise what's normal and what's not, you know? Well, speaking of third records, I've heard you say that a uh, band's third record is incredibly important, and I agree with you, it is. Um, it's also the time in, in a band's life where things start to go wrong, or that at least they can. People go in different directions, you're touring all the time, you're exhausted, I wonder kind of how close you guys have come between the five of you to a breaking point. Uh, to a breaking point? Not I don't think ever. we have. You know, we never? I think that, you know, we're... we're uh, I think you look at a lot of bands that are together, and you, it, it, I, I don't really know, I'm not in those bands, but it seems like a lot of times there's some fights where, I mean, in our case, it would be like, dude, come on, just talk it out. You know, like, right. you, we love music, we, we've been blessed to, to have success in our career, we, we basically have taken our dream from being kids and, and do it every day as a career, you know, so it would take a lot. You'd, someone in the band would have to really, really piss me off to, to, for me to say, like, <laughs> okay, this is it, I don't, not, it's not worth it for me, you know, I, like, you, it's, it's such a great thing that... And whenever there's a problem, there's a fight, we seem I, to really I, communicate. I Go kind ahead. of feel with this record, it actually brought us closer, and I think we're stronger as a band. I think that we care more about the band more than ever, and it uh, just feels really good. I mean, honestly, I think we're, we're stronger than ever. What do you think, between the five of you, what do you think has been the toughest test of friendship? Um, I don't know. It, was, it hasn't been that hard, really. Was I think the early days were the toughest. Even then, like, we were so close and trying to help each other out. Do anything.